20 basic kanji. Since how they were 3000 years ago in ancient China until the form they have today in 4 minutes. 1. The most basic kanji was originally just a painted circle, which with time, to save the effort of painting, became a ball with a line inside. And like every other character, whatever was round became straight. This character means sun. 2. This one is a pretty straightforward drawing, isn't it? And just like the sun, it even got a dot inside. With time, these two tips ended up facing downwards, becoming a square with two big lower strokes. It's the pictogram for moon. 3. But we have many even simpler shapes. For example, this drawing here. It's the shape of a tree with roots and branches. In the current form, the branches were simplified further, becoming a straight stroke. It means tree. 4. What happens if we put together tree with tree? It becomes a place with many trees. That's the character for woods. 5. What if we put one extra tree? It of course becomes a place with even more trees. A forest. 6. What about this drawing here? What do you think it is? These three tips ended up becoming straight strokes in the current form, representing peaks. It's the character for mountain. 7. If you look quickly, this one is quite similar. The only difference is that it's a bit more rounded below. But in the end, it's now different from the mountain, having even some sparks above. It's the pictogram for fire. 8. And this one here is also a basic element. You can guess it by these side strokes. It's the drawing of a water stream, with some droplets sprinkling to the sides. But today, the droplets join the main stream. It means water. 9. Comparing to the previous character, the difference is that it don't have any droplets. These three strokes together represent a strong stream. It's the character for a river. 10. Come on, one more element. Something that can be represented by a small mound. With time, this larger part of the middle ended up becoming a horizontal stroke. Today looking like a cross. It means earth. 11. Maybe that's the most obvious one. It's the character for I, which with time, curiously, was rotated 90 degrees. Let's recall that the traditional Chinese texts were written vertically. That's why it made sense to have characters elongated vertically. 12. That's another simple drawing, which with time ended up becoming more square-like just like the others. This downward stroke in the current form is actually the earlobe. It means ear. 13. Let's make things a bit harder now. What do you think would be these three dots? We can see that with time, the middle stroke was elongated in comparison to the others. From being dots, they represent something minuscule. It's the character for small. 14. What about this one that has four dots instead of three? The fourth dot also became larger in the current version. It's similar to the previous character because it represents a very close idea. It means a few. 15. If I asked you to make a very simple drawing to mean night, what would you do? It's actually quite complicated. An idea would be to just use the moon. And that's what the Chinese did. But to differ, they took out the middle stroke and made it a bit curved to the side. 16. What about this one that's just like the night character? This character is quite curious because it always looks like the moon, so that even today it's still confused with the moon as a radical. It means meat, with the strokes in the middle being details of the steak. 17. Originally, this one looked like two steaks. Can you guess what it means? I can tell you it has something to do with the character for a few. Why in that case a few grains meant a few? Two big steaks is really a lot. In ancient times, meat was always a very fancy meal. That's why this character means a lot. 18. Now look how cute this one is. Imagine how hard it would be to make such an intricate drawing every time you needed to write. That's why it ended up being simplified this way, with the middle part becoming a square and the fins becoming dots. It means fish. 19. And there's more from where that came from. Look how this one was. It received the same treatment as a fish. The face of the cow became the central cross, while this upper horizontal stroke with a dot is a horn. It means cow. 20. And last but not least, what do you think this simple drawing could be? If for you it only looks like a crack, you're actually absolutely right. It's the picture of a very special crack that means divination. It has this special meaning because the ancient Chinese used to do divination rituals with bones. They used to crack turtle bones to predict the future. If you'd like to know more about the origin of the Chinese script and also about this divination stuff, just stay for the next video.